happen. Okay. Hopefully you're spending some time doing this because this is the most important thing you can do right now. This is more important than your homework is getting good at this stuff right here. So I'll flash them up there. You give me the answer as quickly as you can. Isn't the uh, slash divided? Uh-huh. Uh, so it's 36 divided by negative 6. And six. Once, on all of the multiplication and division problems, I want you to give me the sign first. I want that to be the first words out of your mouth. Oh, uh, positive. You to tell me 6. Oh, negative 6. I want you to tell me what the sign is first. Positive. No, you have a positive number divided by a negative number. Oh, what's a negative? Okay, so negative is the sign. I'll put that in there. Now, what's the number? Uh, six. Okay. Keep going. Again, multiplication or division. Give me the sign first. Even if it's positive, give me the sign first. Positive. What's the number? Uh... Uh, 24, negative 24. Now hold on, you gave me the sign already. It's not negative, it's positive. In other words, when you see a multiplication or division problem, the first thing you need to think about is what the sign is going to be. That's rosy. That's not. Uh, Jackson, you still there? Yeah. Okay. So you gave me the sign was positive, which was correct. And now just multiply the two numbers, 2 times 12. Um, 24. Okay. Keep going. Now, this is an addition or a subtraction problem. So I don't want you to view it as the same. In other words, this one, you don't give me the sign first. It's only on multiplication and division that I want you to give me the sign first. You still have to come up with the answer on this one. Um, one. Let's go through our method for doing subtraction when you have negative numbers. Okay. In other words, if, if I tell you subtract 9 minus 7, you can do that the normal way. What is that? Um, 9 minus 7 is uh, 2. Okay. And if I told you 7 minus 9, you can do that the normal way. What is that? 2. Nope. When you subtract a bigger number from a smaller number, it can never be positive. Negative 2. Okay. That's a huge difference. Okay. So those are normal, easy subtraction problems that you can do without fiddling with anything. But all of a sudden, if I give you this, now that becomes a difficult problem because the two dashes confuse people. And this is yeah. similar to what we're looking at here. So how do we handle subtraction problems when one of the numbers is a negative number? There's your negative number right there. That's a positive number. And that's a subtraction sign. You have to learn that. You have to learn which is the subtraction sign and which is the negative number. Uh. Okay. So, how do we handle subtraction when we have a complicated one like this? Um, well... We plot, we do, we create, change the subtraction sign to an addition sign. Good. But if you're going to do that, what else do you have to do? Make it a negative. You have to make, you have to change the sign of whatever follows. Well, what follows? A positive Four. seven. No. Just take it one number at a time. We were subtracting a positive 7. Now we're going to be adding a negative 7. You see what I did? I didn't do anything but change the subtraction sign to a positive. 
and then change the sign of what was being subtracted. Well, what was yeah. being subtracted was a positive 7. So I'm going to change this to an addition problem. I've got to change the sign of whatever was being subtracted. Now, give me the answer to that. Negative uh, 9 plus negative 7. Positive, uh, nope. positive. Nope, nope, nope. When you add two negative numbers, you always get a negative number. Uh, um, just, add the two, just add the two numbers. What's 9 and 17? Um, uh, 16, negative 16. That's negative 16 because I'm adding two negative numbers together. Okay. Now, let's do that one. Same kind of problem exactly as this one. Do it exactly the same way. So what does it become? Minus 3 what? Negative 3 plus negative 4. Perfect. And what is negative 3 plus negative 4? Uh, negative. Negative what? 7. Good. Three times one, sign first. And even if it's positive, I want you to give me the sign first. Positive. Uh, three. Keep going, sign first. Uh, negative. Negative, and it's uh, um, 10. Yeah, when you're multiplying or dividing by 10, it's the easiest thing in the world. There's nothing easier. Is all you yeah. move is move that decimal point, one spot to the left or one spot to the right. I once had a student that was so bad at arithmetic that she could not multiply a number by 10 without reaching for her calculator. Now, that is disgusting. What is that? 37 times 10. Uh, 37 is 370. Yeah. In other words, it's easy, right? Yeah, all you do is add a zero on that. Yeah, exactly. What's 450 divided by 10? Uh, 45. Yeah. See, it's a piece of cake. So minus 100 divided by 10 is minus 10. Okay, so here we have a subtraction problem, and there is a negative number involved. So whenever you have a subtraction problem and a negative number is involved, I want you to turn it into an addition problem. Well, not, it would be 9 plus 7. So, what's the answer? Um, 16. Perfect. Now, this is a multiplication or division problem. Give me the sign first, even if it's positive. Negative. And then that's also uh, two. Remember the rule of nine. First digit has to be a seven, right? Yeah. What's the second digit have to be? What do they have to total? Uh, two. Right. In other words, those two digits have to total 9 when you add them together. And there you have it, seven, 72. This one? Nine first. Um, that would be 1. Sign, sign first? Negative. Number next? 1. This is the way I want your mind to think about those. Always figure the sign first on multiplication and division problems. That, t that way it gets it out of the way, and then you can focus on just the numbers. Once you have the sign out of the way, what's 6 minus 1? 6 minus 1 is uh, um, 5. Okay. 
Now what I'm looking for here is accuracy and speed. Okay? It should not take you that long to figure out what 6 minus 1 is. And sure. the way you will increase your speed is just by practicing on these things. In other words, it will throw this problem at you so many times that your mind will absorb it whether you're trying to or not. And speed is important. It really is. Because the only reason you're doing these by hand in your head is because it's faster than using a calculator. Yeah. So that's why I want you to get good at this. I don't want you to have to use a calculator to do these kind of problems. That would slow one down to a, a state that you just cannot succeed in math. Okay? Uh, yeah. So was just the only way to get better and faster is to practice. Put some time in on this page. Okay. Uh, Sign first. This is a division problem. Um, positive. Nope. We have a positive oh. divided by a negative. Whenever you oh. have, whenever you're doing multiplication or division, and you have opposite signs, it's always negative. Always. If you have same signs, it's always positive. It's that simple. Yeah. These are opposite signs. The 12 is a plus. The 6 is a minus. Therefore, it's a minus whatever. What's 12 divided by 6? Um, no. Keep going. Um, negative 1. Good. Now be very careful on this. We got we're looking at three dashes. So first negative. of all, figure out what the negative what the subtraction sign is. Negative. Well, there's three different negatives. Which one is it? Is it the middle one, the one on the left, or the one on the right? The one on the left. No, that's a negative three. The one on the right. That's a negative two. It's the one in the middle that is the subtraction sign. Oh. In other words, that's the first thing you need to be able to do, is figure out which is the subtraction sign. Well, that cannot be the subtraction sign. There's nothing before it. That's got to be a negative sign. Yeah. That's the subtraction sign right there. And the only reason that's a negative sign, it's inside the parentheses and it's next to the two. So you got to be able to tell what the subtraction sign is before you can change it to an addition sign and then change the sign of what follows. So if I'm changing this to an addition problem, how am I going to do it? Well, um, what's the subtraction sign become? An addition sign. What's the sign of the next thing that follows going to be? Positive. Correct. In other words, is all I'm doing is changing the sign of that too. Now, do this problem, which is basically minus 3 plus 2. When you have two, two pluses together, it's always plus. Negative 1. Perfect. In other words, it's all about the pattern that you use to solve these. You don't have to memorize what minus 3 minus a minus 2 is. You just have to memorize the way to do it. Sign first. Negative. Number next. 50. Um, six, no, five. Okay. Sign first. Negative. Nope. Got two negatives being multiplied together. It's always a positive. Notice that it's quite different than adding. If I'm adding two negative numbers, it's always a negative. 
But if I'm multiplying two negative numbers, the signs, if they're the same, it's always positive. Whether you're multiplying or dividing. Got it? Yeah. Okay, so give me the answer. Sign first. Um, that would be, it's a, ne it's a positive. Okay. Positive um, three. Forty. Five, um, wait, five times it's eight. It's times eight. I didn't know it was times eight. All right. So no, I, I get it. No, I get it. That's fine. Keep going. Um, it's positive. Nope. It's negative. And it's 12. Negative 12. Keep going. Um, uh, positive 90. Good. What I want to see is that thought process going on where you, when you have two negatives, you automatically have a positive if it's being multiplied or divided. Three. Good. Eighty. Oh, wait, no. Eighteen. Good. Sign first. Positive. Good. I'm um, eighteen. Um, eleven. Okay. And I would have said sign first, but since there's no negative signs in the picture and it's all positive, you can get away without saying the positive on this one. Um, These are the tough ones for you. Just do it methodically. In other words, change the subtraction to an addition. Change the sign of what the next thing comes. So now um, you have minus 7 plus 3. What is minus 7 plus a plus 3? Negative 4. Good. Um, negative 7 plus um, negative 6. Uh-huh. Sign first. Uh, positive 18. Sign first. Um, positive? What's the rule on multiplication and division? You keep the bigger numbers. No, no, no. That's an addition or subtraction. When you're multiplying or dividing, if the signs are opposite, the answer is negative. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. What are the signs here? Different. They're opposite, right? In other words, yeah. negative 18 divided by a positive 9. So they're opposite signs, which means my answer is automatically going to start out with negative. Yeah. Negative what? Um, negative uh, <coughs> 2. Sign first. Uh, negative. Yeah, negative. Negative what? Always, uh, negative. Want, always want the number. I just want you to think about the sign as the first process. Negative three. Still there? Jackson, I heard a little beep on my end, which usually indicates I've lost audio. I don't know if you can still hear me or not. Are you still there, Jackson? I'm going to call you and finish the session on the phone. Mm. Ah. Uh, hello. hello, sorry. All right. I guess I pressed something, you know. Okay. Yeah, we had lost audio for a few minutes, but that's okay. I was about to call you. But in, in other words, if that happens again, I will call you, and we can finish out the session using our phones. Yeah. What's this answer? Um, two. Good. Um, 21. Good. Oops. Oops. 
Um, one. Eighty. This is not multiplication. Oh, yeah, sorry. Eighteen. Negative eighteen. Negative eighteen. Very good. Um ten. Good. Um Sign first. <coughs> Negative. Um, ten? Yeah. Um, twelve? Positive twelve? Negative twelve, I mean. Negative twelve. Whenever you, whenever you see two negative signs like this, know that it's an addition problem where you're just adding two negative numbers. So when I see minus 11 minus 10, I know that it's really minus 11 plus a negative 10. And it just makes the problem easier once you turn it into a addition problem. So what's negative 11 plus a negative 10? Um... Uh, no. Always remember when you're adding two negative numbers, your answer is always negative. Always. Um, negative 21. Good. Um, six. Negative six. Negative six. In other words, when you are adding a positive and a negative number, which is what we're doing here, we're adding negative 11 to a positive 5, what I'm going to do is subtract the two numbers, I get 6, and then I'm going to put the sign on of the bigger number. Well, 11 is bigger than 5, so I'm going to use its sign, the negative sign, and my answer, negative 6. Sign first. Um, positive. Positive 22. Good. Now here we're subtracting two positive numbers. I'm subtracting a positive 6 from a positive 1. Negative 5. Good. Now, I know that it seems like we probably spent a half hour and we didn't cover any of your homework at all, but I cannot stress how important this is. And I saw like 100% improvement today on these flashcards. And yeah. you can make that improvement on your own. You don't need me to do that. This is something you can work on on your own. Just keep yeah. guessing until it says correct, down where it says answer. If you get the wrong thing, it'll tell you. And then just keep going. And try it yeah. until you get it correct. And believe me that when you practice on your own, you'll get really good. When people practice anything, they get really good. I don't care if it's baseball, tennis, whatever. If you just keep doing stuff, you get better at it. As long as you use the right method. And you just have to, I, my belief in math tutoring is absolute. Meaning that you have to be good at these single digit stuff. You can't really go much beyond that. You're only in eighth grade, so you got a lot of time. So it's really, really worth you getting strengthened strengthening your fundamentals and that's what we're doing here okay but what I'd like to see is a little improvement from time to time which tells me you've been practicing on your own yeah okay so I'm gonna let you go for today and then I will talk to you Tuesday night
Uh, thank you. Okay. All right, Jackson. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.